That's an issue. That's one one issue. I can't understand why. I know we've heard this story before. Yeah. I mean, you know that function, remember when Mr. D had a the uh, retirement thing? Yeah. And I insisted. I insisted, right. and I signed. That, you know, was, that was great. Sang there, and, and it's on video. He has the videos. He gave, he got so many of them, he gave them away. Yeah. I don't know how many he got of them. But, uh, no, I, don't, I mean, those are memories, right? Shit, yeah. you know. Yeah, it is. My wife supported true. me in everything, and I supported her. That's important. And then, in, in turn, you supported your children. That's right. Right? That's right. And it's all positive. It's It was all good. You were a, a good example of yourself. You were a good role model. Yeah. You have to. You know, and then and then your children became successful and, and they blossomed that, and they bloomed and, and they then, used their and talents. Then the, the children are good citizens after, you know. They follow their parents. Yeah, too bad you didn't get to meet my wife. Yeah. What a sickness that is. The worst worst world thing to die with. That did affect me. That's how I picked up that's how, how I took many years? Well, I mean, we didn't know what it was at first, but those last 20 months were god awful. Poor thing. Those 20 I, months. I ran the IV. I, I ran the IV. I did everything. He you, he took care of his wife uh, yeah. for 20 months. She had ALS. Well, I took care yeah. of her longer, but with that that one she had. Lou Garrett's those disease, last, right? Yeah. Lou Garrett's disease. Those last yeah, and 20, she, and those he, last 20 months. He did not put her in a home. He took care of her every day in a wheelchair. He did everything. Fed her, changed her, everything. You can imagine that they would do. Give her her animals. Everything, everything that they would do in a private home care, right? And Because yeah, yeah. he loved his wife so much. There's Terrible. not many people would ever do that. Terrible, terrible. You know, I got a picture of uh, her when we were... Norm has quite a life story, too. One day, we're, we were hoping to do his, um, his life story called My Life. And I would do the script for it. And the story, because his story is incredible. That's Jeannie? Yeah. Oh, my God, she looks familiar. It's Jeannie. How old is she then? 25. 25? And it was, just, were you just married? Or you married yeah, we were on a honeymoon. Then. Honeymoon. Mm -hmm. And it's your second wife, right? Yeah. That was your second wife. She's beautiful. 65 years old. Wow. Cruel way to die. And she believed in God still. And I was mad. I, I used to tell God to go to hell. And so there's Elizabeth, the one we lost in a car accident. Lizzie. You lost your daughter in a car accident? She was beautiful. Yeah. She was 20. How come? How come? It was just an accident. And they all say, how come Timmy and Teresa are so tall? I said, well, one was a mailman, one was a milkman. <laughs> <laughs> that's a humor, too. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a good when one. When I used to say when she was there, too, she just laughed. She thought that she was laughed. pretty good. See, that you can have a good. sense of humor, right? <laughs> what was the secret? That was, must have been the secret to your marriage, eh? The secret to your marriage. Oh, we did everything together. Yeah. We did everything together. That's the secret to a good marriage. What we cooked together and we fought together when we cooked. We all had our own. <laughs> we had a, imagine, 15 and a half years in a restaurant cooking together. And we fought oh, all yeah, together. Oh, yeah, you had a restaurant. Oh, yeah. Was yeah. that Norm's place? Uh, yeah, Normie's. First it was Normie's, and then after when we started going tablecloth and everything with people, <coughs> they, you know, they would come. So... She named it Normans. It was, she thought it was a little classier, and all it was for older people. Normans. And, and people liked it because you know at first it was driving and you know fast food and stuff. Where, where, when was this? Uh, we went in the restaurant business in 1971. New, New Year's New Year's Eve, 1971. That's when we started. We stayed till '86. Oh, March the 16th, 86. Wow, that's a long time, right? Yeah, yeah we had our 15 years. That's, that's good. Yeah. That's really good. Tough racket. I don't recommend the restaurant to anybody. Yeah. Oh. You must have loved doing that, eh? Serving well, people, right? I had to leave Kaminko. I had uh, bad ear infections, and I couldn't have dust going in my ear and stuff. So that's what we decided to do. Well, who did the cooking? Both of us. Yeah. And then we had a couple others. Yeah, 
I used to get home one, two o'clock in the morning. Nobody should go in the restaurant business. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of work. I know my oh. parents had a banquet hall it's growing up. It's ridiculous. In Toronto. Yeah. Well, if you... They if worked you, a lot. Like, if, four o'clock in the morning, you know, I remember, you know... Being, falling asleep there in the back and yeah, well that's then, it. At, at weddings, <laughs> little Maria, know? I used to bring her out and put her in the little bassinet. Yeah. In oh our, yeah. In our office, she was only nine months old, Maria. Yeah, my parents brought me to their their business work too. You know. But Timmy, Therese, and Elizabeth worked hard in the restaurant. They did. They really helped. Well, that's we good. were lucky there. That's good. And then Maria yeah. did as she got older too. Yeah. She was serving coffee, I think, when she was eight years old. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the people loved it. And we had him in a nice red oh, outfit. So and Timmy funny. wore a red vest with a bow tie. He didn't like it, but all the ladies liked it. Can we have Timmy wait on our table oh, tonight? That's so, oh, that's so <laughs> and the girls used to tease him. Yeah. <laughs> Even other girls, because we had other people working. Huh? Yeah, they did a hell of a job, the kids. Norm, your life is so exciting, eh? Oh, I don't well, know. You're blessed. Uh, you see, somebody blessed you, huh? Life comes with the good and the bad, I huh? I guess somebody up there. Yeah, see? You know you were mad at God, eh? Cursing at him and oh, everything, right? Taking big, away. Big, big time. Taking and away your love. G even Jeannie got sick there. I was mad. Oh, my God, what a way. That is a cruel, cruel disease. Yeah. Every day something went wrong. She's in a better place, And she eh? picked it up. She couldn't walk, and then it was her hands, and then she couldn't swallow, not even a drop of water. They had to put a hole here in her stomach and to feed her through with the IV. Ten months, eh? And all she did was lose weight, poor thing. And the thing is, the mind didn't go, and she knew everything that was happening. I mean, she used to say a couple of days before, she'd even tell the doctor, this is happening to me. Well, In did, fact, Dr. Stanley good. and I talk all the time about her, about that, because yeah. he used to come, well, yeah, he was, heard. nobody in trail had a patient that had ALS. Who do you hear of? Yeah, Very yeah. seldom. That's, that's, Garrett, that's something that was new. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And there yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the matter, this hockey player, Nelson, was one of the first ones. Really? Yeah. I remember and watching and the movie there, about there that. There was the Guercio boy, he lived in Warfield. And then after that, it was Jeannie. So it's it's, unknown, it's a though. very unusual thing. It's oh. terrible. Wow. Well, you you deserve you deserve that medal. Oh. Uh, you do. That probably got lots to do with it because all the people know how we took care of her. You know. Yeah. And then you made a difference after too for other people by holding banquets every year and doing fundraisers and yeah. right. But now I got, you know what it's called? No. The Vecchiaia. Evil, no. You know what the Old eye? Was that? Oh, the old age. Old the oh, that! Old age. That's what I got now. It's old you have the old age? I can't. Maybe a medal for we, that. We can't get away with that. No, no. You like to go backwards, but you can't. You gain the day every uh, year. Yeah, but with every year passing by, you know, you get all these surprises all the time. Yeah. You didn't know that then, 20, 30 like, years ago. Because I'm limping because I've got this back problem, and everybody says to me, what the hell is wrong with you? I said, i got the vecchiaia. You know, one guy said to me, how come you swear all the time? I said, I'm not swearing. It's an Italian vecchiaia. Oh. <laughs> I said, it's kind of like, yeah, what is that? I said, it's old age. Oh, you oh, stopped oh, swearing? I thought you were oh. swearing at me. <laughs> oh, you stopped swearing, have you? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. But I'm just saying, that's what they thought I was swearing You don't swear, do you, Norm? Oh, I've been wearing company that all the guys <laughs> swear at each other. Yeah, I, I know, I heard. <laughs> Not in front of me, though. <laughs> no, I don't. I know, I, I gentle I swear in front of me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, there you go. This is Norm Lenardin. My friend. Now I'm going home. You know what I'm going to do? Lie down for an hour. Oh, yeah. That's because that's my, what, you know. My back has to rest. It's okay. He needs to do that, right? My back has to rest. Yeah. Well, say goodbye to Norm. Love you. Say, I love you back. <laughs> Bye. That was nice I love you. Someday we'll continue that one. See. Yeah, it was just a spontaneous thing, you know? Yeah. Come in and, and I'll work on it on that. Do you get a lot of ladies coming in here? Yeah. You do, huh? Yeah. They know you now. It takes a while. Yeah. And you sell a lot of flowers, I bet. Yeah, well, i got to give you some, too, I'll before you, you go. Some. I'm going to give you some flowers before you go. Let me oh, just no. pause that. Look at how, how